Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy EJ, man. Welcome back to another video, man. I just be chilling, man. I just be chilling, playing and shit. And I was just looking at, God, dog, the wind and blew over my name thing. Bro, look how pretty my boy is, y'all. Bro, look how pretty my dog is, y'all. These are my puppies. This sister and brother right here, y'all. Look at this. These dogs are so big, it's funny. <laughs> they still so young. Stop that. Stop that. Prince. Why are you get so serious? Hmm. So I'm still growing, daddy. I'm still growing, daddy. So I'm still growing. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Dad, Dad, I'm still growing. Dad, I'm still just a puppy. Dad, I'm, I'm still just a baby dad. Dad, I'm just, I'm just a baby dad. Look at you, bro. What's, what, why you get so serious, Prince? Why you get so on guard, Prince? You talking about structure. You talking about beautiful. Y'all watch how Duke look in like the next six months. <laughs> Bro, watch how Duke be looking in the next six months. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I got the best house. Yo, anybody that slept, anybody be sleeping on my shit? Like, like I don't got the best blood in my camp, the best temperament, the best coach, the best. You sleep. Look at this boy. This is a puppy, not even a year old. These dogs are not even a year old. They're not even a year. Look how serious he is. Look how good he is. Man, look at what I look at what I put together, bro. Yo, bro. All right, uh, y'all. So a lot of y'all really don't understand what's going on in my camp. But it's beautiful, you know. I'm gonna go buy a dope dog and try to throw something together just to have puppies and all like that. But I bought these dogs. Uh, I bought their parents. I bought their parents a long time ago, man. Come out two years ago when they was eight weeks old. I bought their parents. I ain't spent under. Um, I ain't spent under five thousand for no dog you see. Not, I'm not going to tell you what I spent, but I didn't spend under 5K for nothing you see in my yard. Adult wise, right? And, um, sorry, I'm picking up stuff. I didn't spend, uh, I didn't spend under 5,000. Um, I'm not no, I'm not no person that just go get dogs and I'm just trying to breed and all that. I didn't jump into this game like that. A lot of y'all know how I jumped in, but it wasn't like that. What I did was, I bought a dog, spent almost 8,000 for him. I bought him for a companion. I bought him because I love dogs. I bought him because I love the breed. I bought him because I wanted to support my friend that bought dogs. So everything played a factor to why I bought the dog I bought. And we're talking about Navy here. We're talking about Navy. Clean up, y'all. She ran by chicken coop. Yeah, they, they didn't took this all off, so. If you got dogs, every day is a cleanup day. So it's not no day where like today I'm not gonna clean up, I'm gonna clean up tomorrow. Yeah, you do that if you want to. It's gonna get out of hand. So yeah, I didn't buy um and I, this is not this is not the goal at anybody that did that. We're talking about me personally. Um I didn't buy dogs to breed. I didn't buy the, I didn't buy a dog to breed. I didn't jump into this game buying a dog to breed. I bought a dog that was my best friend. I stayed in a one bedroom apartment, me and my girlfriend. I used to go on hikes every single day. Um, I was the manager over an office building and I would take Navy to work with me every day. He would be sitting by my desk. People that follow the Instagram, NBF underscore Navy, N-A-V-I, you can see our relationship. It wasn't like, oh man, bro, look at, look at Navy. 
I can't wait till he produced this. I was never even thinking like that. I was thinking I got one of the best dogs in the world. This dog has made my life completely different and I'm happy for it. I'm happy for the change that it's made. I'm happy for this. I'm genuinely happy. A lot of y'all don't know, I used to travel a lot with Navy. So me and Navy slept in plenty, slept in the car plenty of times. We stopped at numerous time, numerous rest stops, hike spots, um, mountains, all types of stuff, man. Like me and Navy, that was my, that's like my best friend. Cause I don't really deal with a lot of people cause I'm not really a people's person. Yeah, I can be because I have the ability to sell, but I'm really like, I'm really like a loner and I love who I love. That's why if I tell you I love you, I love you for real. Cause um, I don't spread that loosely. So I bought Navy, traveled the world, um, not the world, traveled the states, traveled through the states, lived in apartments, set up in cars, did a bunch. And the feeling that gave me, the amount of respect it gave me for life, I said, fuck, I'm happy. This is what I want to do. I want to be around dogs all the time. So I started doing research. It took me a year and a half, two years to find the dogs I was looking for. And I invested in them because I wanted to share what I felt. I wanted to share the feeling that it gave me. That's why you don't see me with a bunch of puppies. You don't see me with a bunch of adult dogs. I don't buy adult dogs. I haven't done it yet. It's, it's just not just trying to pump out puppies, man. I'm not just trying to pump out puppies to, to make money, to get you guys puppies. The puppies that I have available for you guys are some of the best puppies in the world. And some of the best bloodlines in the world. In the world. It's not just the States. I got dogs, bloodlines from UK, everywhere. Everywhere. This is all over the world. So, and I was selling it to you guys for not even 25% of what I paid for the parents. And that goes to show that this was not that type of uh, that type of deal, man, where I got into this thing trying to make bukus of money. I paid almost $10,000 for almost every adult dog you see. And I sold their puppies for 2,500 because I want you guys to experience what I experienced for a fraction of the cost. Cause I just want to spread the love and the joy that they gave me. That's why you guys see me so happy. Is because at the end of the day, no matter how hard this is, I love, I love it. I don't want no easy life. I'm just walking around picking up. I don't want no easy life. I don't look for things to be easy. If you're looking for things to be easy, you should look at uh, what you want to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? I tell you all the time, people live in a nice house where they're paying $2,000 a month. Another thousand dollars utilities. And by you don't have to pay that. You can go stay in an apartment somewhere, section eight somewhere, pay six fifty, seven fifty with people hanging out outside the house, people riding up and down the street, bumping music. You guys don't hear that. You don't see nobody in the streets over here because I pay this is what I want. This is the requirement of living I want. So I'm willing to pay it. If it, if I have to work harder to pay it, then I will work harder to pay it because this is what I want, right? Same with the dogs. I want a dog with some of the best blood. Some of the best genetics out there. So what do I do? I had to pay for it. I had to pay for it. So when I sell these dogs to y'all to bring you guys a part of my family, the NBL family, for the price that I'm giving them to y'all at, please know I'm doing it because I love I love the breed. Please know I'm doing it because I love what I do. Please don't think that um you could find better um, for the price. You you just good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Your boy EJ, man. Welcome back to another video, man. I just be chilling, man. I just be chilling, playing and shit. And I'm just looking at... God, dog. The wind blew over my name thing. Bro, look how pretty my boy is, y'all. Bro, look how pretty my dog is, y'all. These are my puppies. This sister and brother right here, y'all. Look at this. These dogs be so big, it's funny. <laughs> they still so young. Stop that. Stop that. Prince. Why do you get so serious? Hmm. So I'm still growing, daddy. I'm still growing, daddy. I'm still growing. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. 
Dad, Dad, I'm still growing. Dad, I'm still just a puppy. Dad, I'm, I'm still just a baby dad. Dad, I'm just, I'm just a baby dad. Look at you, bro. What's, why why you get so serious, Prince? Why you get so on guard, Prince? You talking about structure? You talking about beautiful? Bro, y'all watch how Duke look in like the next six months. <laughs> Bro, watch out, Duke be looking at the next season. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I got the best house. Yo, anybody that slept, anybody be sleeping on my shit? Like, like I don't got the best blood in my camp, the best temperament, the best coach, the best. You sleep. Look at this boy. This is a puppy, not even year old. These dogs are not even a year old. They're not even a year. Look how serious he is. Look how good he is. Man, look at what I look at what I put together, bro. Yo, bro. Alright, y'all. So a lot of y'all really don't understand what's going on in my camp. But it's beautiful. You know, I didn't go buy a dope dog and try to throw something together just to have puppies and all like that. But I bought these dogs. Uh, I bought their parents. I bought their parents a long time ago, man. Talking about two years ago when they was eight weeks old, I bought their parents. I ain't spent under. Um, I ain't spent under five thousand for no dog you see. Now I'm not gonna tell you what I spent, but I didn't spend under five k for nothing you see in my yard. Adult wilds, right? And um sorry, I'm picking up stuff. I didn't spend uh I didn't spend under five thousand. Um I'm not no I'm not no person that just go get dogs and I'm just trying to breed and all that. I didn't jump into this game like that. A lot of y'all know how I jumped in, but it wasn't like that. What I did was I bought a dog, spent almost eight thousand for him. I bought them for a companion. I bought them because I love dogs. I bought them because I love the breed. I bought them because I want to support my friend that bought dogs. So everything played a factor into why I bought the dog I bought. And we're talking about Navy here. We're talking about Navy. Clean up, y'all. She ran by chicken coop. Yeah, they, they didn't took this all off. So if you got dogs, every day is a cleanup day. So it's not no day where like today I'm not gonna clean up, I'm gonna clean up tomorrow. Yeah, you do that if you want to. It's going to get out of hand. So, yeah, I didn't buy... Um, and I, this is not... This is not the goal at anybody that did that. We're talking about me personally. Um, I didn't buy dogs to breed. I didn't, buy these, I didn't buy a dog to breed. I didn't jump into this game buying a dog to breed. I bought a dog that was my best friend. I stayed in a one-bedroom apartment. Me and my girlfriend... I used to go on hikes every single day. Um, I was the manager over an office building and I would take Navy to work with me every day. He would be sitting by my desk. People that follow the Instagram, NBF underscore Navy, N-A-V-I, you can see our relationship. It wasn't like, oh man, bro, look, look at Navy. I can't wait till he produced this. I was never even thinking like that. I was thinking I got one of the best dogs in the world. This dog has made my life completely different and I'm happy for it. I'm happy for the change that it's made. I'm happy for this. I'm genuinely happy. A lot of y'all don't know, I used to travel a lot with Navy. So me and Navy slept in plenty, slept in the car plenty of times. We stopped at numerous time, numerous rest stops, hike spots, um, mountains, all types of stuff, man. Like me and Navy, that was my, that's like my best friend. Cause I don't really deal with a lot of people cause I'm not really a people's person. And I can be because I have the ability to sell, but I'm really like, I'm really like a loner and I love who I love. That's why if I tell you I love you, I love you for real. Cause um, I don't spread that loosely. So I bought Navy, traveled the world, um, not the world, traveled the states, traveled through the states, lived in apartments, slept in cars, did a bunch. And the feeling that gave me, 
the amount of respect it gave me for life. I said, fuck, I'm happy. This is what I want to do. I want to be around dogs all the time. So I started doing research. It took me a year and a half, two years to find the dogs I was looking for. And I invested in them because I wanted to share what I felt. I wanted to share the feeling that it gave me. That's why you don't see me with a bunch of puppies. You don't see me with a bunch of adult dogs. I don't buy adult dogs. I haven't done it yet. It's, it's just not just trying to pump out puppies, man. I'm not just trying to pump out puppies to, to make money to get you guys puppies. The puppies that I have available for you guys are some of the best puppies in the world. And some of the best bloodlines in the world. In the world. It's not just the States. I got dogs, bloodlines from UK, everywhere. Everywhere. This is all over the world. So, and I was selling it to you guys for not even 25% of what I paid for the parents. And that goes to show that this was not the type of, uh, that type of deal, man, where I got into this thing trying to make bukus of money. I paid almost $10,000 for almost every adult dog you see. And I sold their puppies for $2,500 because I want you guys to experience what I experienced for a fraction of the cost because I just want to spread the love and the joy that it gave me. That's why you guys see me so happy is because at the end of the day, no matter how hard this is, I love, I love it. I don't want no easy life. I'm just walking around picking up. I don't want no easy life. I don't look for things to be easy. If you're looking for things to be easy, you should look at uh, what you want to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, people live in a nice house where they're paying $2,000 a month, another $1,000 in utilities. And like, you don't have to pay that. You can go stay in an apartment somewhere, section eight somewhere, pay six fifty, seven fifty with people hanging out all outside the house, people riding up and down the street bumping music. You guys don't hear that. You don't see nobody in the streets over here because I pay. This is what I want. This is the requirement of living I want. So I'm willing to pay it. If it, if I have to work harder to pay it, then I will work harder to pay it because this is what I want, right? Same with the dogs. I want a dog with some of the best blood, some of the best genetics out there. So what do I do? I had to pay for it. I had to pay for it. So when I sell these dogs to y'all to bring you guys a part of my family, the NBL family, for the price that I'm giving them to y'all at, please know I'm doing it because I love, I love the breed. Please know I'm doing it because I love what I do. Please don't think that um you could find better um, for the price. You, you just can't. Roxy knocked over my trash can. Hey, yo. Junior, never going to my garage again. Okay? Okay, so some of the dogs poop in little areas. Now that Junior steps in a poop and spreads it around the whole floor in my garage. Junior is never going to my garage again. Junior will be on dirt for the rest of his life. No, he's not going to the concrete area. No, he's not. Junior will be on dirt for the rest, for the remaining of, of Junior life. For the remaining of junior life, he will be subject to dirt, okay? I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what anybody say. Um, certain dogs do certain things, and um, that's what's going on. Look at Hazel. Hazel, look at my girl Roxy. My boy Zeus here. Look at Prince. Alpha. Dude, bro, dude different. This girl be really biting this girl. Man, go on, get her, girl. Jeez. Who y'all think gonna be bigger between Hazel and Katrina? Yeah, bite her. I bet you won't. I bet you won't bite her. I bet you won't bite her. I bet you won't bite her, Hazel. Yeah. Bite, bite her like you just, like you do Katana. Do that to do that to Roxy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. What up, Juicy? All right, Juicy's gone. He done pooping and doing all that type of stuff. Now he, he, uh, he, he on the duty. He's gonna get on the duty real soon. Hey, right, Juicy. You know, you know, you gotta survey the yard and all that type of stuff and do all that. My boy's still on the fence line. He don't care about none of this. Prince don't care about nothing that's going on. Prince is on the fence line. So what we finna go do is, we finna go get Junior. And uh, we finna move Junior um, you got coal in your eye. You got to get that cleaned up. 
So this is Ben's, y'all. Ben's need to be around adults because her temperament needs to be fixed ASAP before she get too big and she get hurt. Before she get hurt, okay? This is Ben's, y'all. She is available. This girl steady biting. This dude steady pooping, bro. Like, this dude just pooped three times already. Do not free feed your dogs. 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 Again, do not free feed your dogs. Do not free feed your dogs. All right, Zeus on the line now. Look, she's gonna get disciplined. That's what she need. That's what she need. Good girl, Hazel. This is say teach her how to submit. She learn how to submit. She learn when to stop. What's going on, y'all? Hello. Hello. Self-important meditation. What is that? They just say anything, boy. All right, y'all. So I got three bags of dog food left. Um, three bags of dog food left. Um, out of a sport mix. Look at him. He's pooping again. I am no longer using sport mix after today or after these dog food ran out. I am no longer using sport mix as a filler. Uh, as you guys know, I feed my dogs raw as well, and I feed them a good mix. But I'm no longer using sport mix as a filler after I'm done with the dog food that I have. I'm gonna go get Junior. Cause that's Junior up there yelling and spreading Dookie all around. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about too. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about, man. You're gonna see in all the other kennels, there's gonna be spaces where there's Dookie. His kennel has dookie layer all throughout the whole kennel. Back! Back! Oh, y'all get back. Back! Ben, you ain't running. Back! 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 Do what they do. Do what they do. Back up. This don't mean come out. All right, so watch this shit, bro. And this is what y'all don't understand about Junior, bro. Junior is one of those dogs that, look, I'm going to show y'all. Junior, stop. Who's this? What? Dookie, right? Dookie. Dookie. Dookie everywhere. Ew, bro. Look, Dookie. No, no, no. No. And I can't even let him go back there because they might get on him. Because he's going to come back there with the high energy. And he's not going to, he's not going to want to, uh, he's not going to want to, uh, he's not going to want to, uh, uh, submit. And then that's a lot of dogs on his ass because he don't want to submit. Look, Duke y'all everywhere. No, do not jump on me. I'm going to wait for them to go on back up. I ain't waiting for shit. Come on. Back up. Back up. Back, 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 back. Back. Let's go, Junior. Let's go, Junior. Back. Come on. Come on. He don't even want to come back here. Come on, dude. Well, Junior is gonna go. Junior is gonna go on dirt. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Well, Junior.
So you're knocking over the Duke. Little Duke. Little Princess. Should have known. It's a good place for it. Be next to Junior. Junior ain't finna go for no type of bad adolescent bull crap that she be having going on. He's gone. He was the first dog that ever bit her. So she she know Junior. Now Duke, y'all over y'all gotta pick up all of this stuff, y'all. See what I'm saying? Like this is why I need you guys to like the video, bro. Cause listen, if I wasn't recording, I could have done all this already. This would have been done already, bro. I can get it done so much faster, but I'm trying to record y'all video. Look at this. She's gonna get on the air. Don't play with rocks. Don't play with rocks. What up, Juicy? My chicken right, bro. What is going on? My girl Hazel Ray right there. Everybody right there. right there. I'm gonna get my chicken some food in a second. But y'all see the mess that Junior made in the kennel, bro? He does that every time. Now he know when we're going inside the kennel. And now he cleaning his feet, licking his feet. Cause it's Duke y'all over him. Bro, I tell you, bro. You can't make this stuff up. Can't make this stuff up. My boy Prince, walking around peeing. You know what I'm saying? He duking again. I swear to God, y'all. Look, no more dog food. Listen, when I get back to 100% raw with my, the filler I use, these dogs gonna do you once a day, once, maybe twice a day. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all something. A lot of y'all don't know this. The cheaper the dog food is, the cheaper the dog food, the faster they're gonna do it out. So just say if you buy, spend $60 on a bag of dog food, and you spend $30 on a bag of dog food, this sixty dollar bag of dog food is gonna last longer than the thirty dollar bag of dog food because the thirty dollar bag of dog food is gonna run through their system faster. Hopefully that makes sense, man. Give you guys an idea of like buying cheap dog food. It don't. It doesn't. It does not equate to um to um to more food. It, it equates to uh, more bowel movements. Makes sense. So. Invest in a better dog food. Try to do raw if you can. You will minimize so many pounds of dookie, bro. See, raw food, what it's gonna do? Raw food going in your system. It gotta, it gotta break down. Your body gonna take the calories that it need from it. Um, it's gonna process completely different. The dog food is already cooked. It's already probably been cooked so many times where you, if you give them dog food, you can look at the dog, like you can literally it's the same. It's like, if I get the dog food right now and I mush it up, you know what I'm saying? I mush it up. This is how they poop up, all right? It's gonna look like, it's gonna look exactly how the dog food looks, just mushed up with water. That's how it come out. So, uh, they're not benefiting from it at all. I mean, it's a filler, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a filler, but um, it don't stick. It don't stick. Look at all my dogs, bro. They all like, none of my dogs are very big, like fat, heavy, none of that, bro. Um, the food go right through them. It's a big girl, y'all. Hey! But yeah, the food don't stick, y'all, bro, so. Um. Raw is the best, bro. Raw is the best. The next is like Pro Plan. You know what I'm saying? Pro Plan is pretty good. Um, Victor is like the next. Like Raw, Pro Plan, Victor type. I'm going to move the camera so y'all can see the dogs play.
They just run around and play all the time, you know. It's pretty cool. I don't know if Junior wanna get out and play and all that, but Junior don't do a lot of playing. Junior is a serious dog, so <laughs> he just bit already. <laughs> Dude, he's gone. Get back, girl. Get back, man. It's a bull. So my boy move. I like that they do this. This is all exercise for them. So kind. Ain't nobody doing it, y'all. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at Prince and his daddy. Prince Tower. <laughs> oh, so funny. Dang. I'm like recording videos for y'all, bro. I could be cleaning up. I could be done. I could be in the house, eating some lobster and shrimp, drinking some jungle juice. I'm trying to get y'all some good footage of dogs, man. I'm trying to let y'all see the dogs. I know y'all ain't got nothing else to do, man. It's the best stuff on TV right now, man. The best stuff on TV, man. Look at, look at Prince and his daddy, bro. This is so beautiful to see, like, my production. Like, I'm looking at my production, bro. I'm looking at what I bought at Zeus, and I'm looking at my production. Like, you, you say well, you can say what you want about me, bro, but obviously, I know what I'm doing. Look, Zeus has a shorter muzzle. Zeus uh, snores when he sleeps. Prince doesn't. <laughs> Prince doesn't. Prince has a longer muzzle, and he don't snore when he sleep. He's more athletic, and he's just a puppy, man. Like, he's going to be so much bigger than this. And uh, Prince Bark is so loud, y'all. Tell me, Prince Bark is so loud. Hey, Katana. I don't like Katana rear. Right, so we got a deck for you. When I do decide to breed her, we're gonna make sure um, we put her with something that's gonna complement her rear. I don't like her rear. It's not the worst, but I don't like it. But like I said, I bought Katana, so I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna fix it. All the dogs that I bought, there's things that I, I'm going to fix. Like, look at him. Wrestling so strong forever. Not you got the tail tuck. Not you got the tail tuck, Hazel. Not the girl that put the tail tuck on you. Hey, get off Lexus. Get off Lexus. You can play with Duke, bro, bro. But you don't play with Lexus, bro. She on his ass, boy. Look at him. <laughs> I 
Look at dude, bro, different. Okay, man. Back up. We run on. Get out of face. Get out of face. Racist, get out of face. All you gotta do is leave it alone. Walk away. Learn how to do that. Learn that. Perfect time to learn that. Perfect time to learn when to walk away. Duke don't care. <laughs> Duke do not care. Dude trying to hit. Lexus! Learn. Learn. Prince, you didn't learn, bro. Prince, you didn't learn, bro. She already bit your face too many times. Now you better get out of face. Get out of face. She's trying to tell you, get out of face now. Now she snap on you. I'm not going to stop her. See your tail up. She trying to tell you stop. I know you wiggling your tail. I know you just want to play. But she telling you to chill out. Learn it. There you go. Go do something different. What up, Juicy? Good boy, Duke. Hey, Katana. Katana went away down. Dude. Bro, everybody's not trying to bro. This dude is freaky. Look at that, bro. Wait till I get this is second generation. Wait till I get third, fourth, fifth generation. Oh, it's just, oh, I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I'm patient. I just breed the dogs that I love, that I take care of, that I've had since I was puppies. So it just, it mean a little bit more to me. All right, this girl is my baby. Roxy, Roxy. All right, Roxy is my baby. No, no, these are my babies. I didn't just buy this girl. I ain't bought her last year. I ain't bought her six months ago. I bought her at way before she was even two weeks old. She was already paid for a bought. It's different, bro, it's just different. Hopefully you guys can understand the difference of a breeder and like somebody like me. I'm not a breeder. Breeder go get adult females. They try to pump out puppies. They paying stud fees. They doing all that type of stuff. I'm not doing that. I bought the dogs that I want, the dogs that I love, and I bred them. And I'm giving them to the community for a great price. Hey, good morning. What y'all doing over there? Oh, okay. Heck, the feeling better? That's good. Huh? Okay. Bro, this, this is this is a stud. Nigga don't even got nuts yet. Stud. Stud. Zeus, you on the fence line, Zeus? There's not a thread next door, y'all, so I'm not really worried about it. That's a box. That's a boxer. Look at Duke following Zeus. Okay, right, what up? What we doing? Watch him. Watch them, Duke. Watch, we'll do what they do. Do what they do. All right. He's like, I'm learning. They do all the time. Do it, bro. Mine on the, mine on the, uh, the putty tank. I'm not saying it's a shit on nobody. I'm not saying it's a 
say somebody else's camp is not good or not great. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just letting you know about my account, okay? This is what I got going on over here at NBF. Dookie dookie dook. If I only had a phone in my hand, we'd be I'd be interacting with the dogs. Right? As y'all know, I got a, um, I got a production next door. Katana, Katana, this is ooh, tripping. There you go. There you go. Katana. Ugh. There you go. Man. I'm gonna do it. Back up, y'all. Jesus. Pulling this off a ton of neck. I'm gonna get new cars, man. We got new cars on the way, man. These are obsolete. These are obsolete. No. Do a navy hit so I'm trying to get it. The dude. Dude trying to post on the one. Doing, hey, what you doing? Get my ends. Let me know. I don't need friends. If I could find, why are you booing about me? Look at Zeus. Don't boo about me no more. Don't move about me no more, buddy. Don't move about me no more, buddy. Don't move about me no more, buddy. Don't move about me no more. You back. You back. You back. Oh, Katana. Oh, God. Katana be tripping. So, get out of my back, bro. Get out of my back, bro. Hey, Katana. Get out of my back, bro. Ah, dog. Y'all just, y'all on my back. No, no, no. Friend. Why are you still going there, 
This is Mr. Hump. This is Mr. Hump. This dude right here. This dude right here, man. This docile boy, when you pick him up, put him down, he trying to hump something. What up, buddy? Why you already trying to hump, dude? Look at this dude, he, he dead. Look at him, y'all. Look at him. <laughs> Look at the dude, man. Look how he laying up here, man. Look at this big old baby, man. This the guy that wants to hump everything. This him, y'all. Look at him. He thought he was, look, ain't moved. He ain't moved. How you ain't moving, bro? This the dude, y'all. Just to hump me. Look at him, as in dead. I got him in a good tight position. And, uh, what up, dude? Look. Look at his head. Look. Look at him, as in dead. Put him down, he's gonna go hump something. I don't know why they do what they do. What they do, what they do. Thank you, Tom. Tom, uh. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. My baby katana. My baby katana. It's my baby katana. You bet. You bet. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's pretty crazy. Hope everybody having a great day. Hope you're putting in work. Hope you take care of your dogs. Hope you're taking care of your dogs, man. See, y'all didn't know Zeus can move, man. A lot of y'all don't understand what's going on, man. A lot of y'all don't know my boy Zeusy is athletic.
boy, that boy Duke, hey, Duke one of them ones too. All right, a lot of y'all be asking me questions. <laughs> That's what people get on the internet say. I get so many DMs, I get so many calls about this type of stuff. Why don't my dog grab the rope? Why don't my dog want to play with the rope? What is it about my rope that my dog don't want? It's not that your dog don't want to play with the rope. It's not that your dog won't play with the rope. It's the fact that you leave the rope out. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. If you leave something out, they don't look at it as a prize to get it when it's always laying around. So you want your dog to play with toys, put the toys up, give it to them at a minimum. Make it work. When they see this, they know, oh shoot, it's a toy out. 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 Out. You probably wonder why I won't give a toy to him. Why? If I give it to him, they can play tug of war for sure. Zeus gonna get it. Zeus ain't gonna let nobody else get it. And I don't want to start. I don't want none of my dogs to get bit because Zeus is doing the most, and they want to play with a toy too. So. I just want them to see that this is something that you want, right? Then I'm gonna put it up. Next time I get it out, they're gonna be trying to get it. Hey, Katana. Hey, Juicy. Hey, Juicy. Duke being Duke, y'all. Prince, hey, y'all. If y'all don't know this, where's Prince? Prince is somewhere walking around the yard marking. Prince just marked. Come here, Prince. Hey, Lexus. Hey, girl. This is a big female, y'all. Hey, mama. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. So, right now I got a video uploading. Half of that video is muted because of things I was talking about in the video. What is a progressive? And well, I'm not gonna give y'all information that's not progressive. I refuse to do that to the people that, that follow me. I refuse to do that to the people that believe in me. Um, we're not doing no hating. We're not doing no complaining. Um, we're not talking about nobody else count because we really don't care. NBL only, man. I'm gonna get a big old NBF tattoo too, y'all. It's gonna be huge. I'm NBF.
I'm sorry, Roxy. They, they just, they gonna come over here, Roxy. See, Roxy, right now, Roxy you wanna go one-on-one -on -one time, but everybody gonna interfere, so she's not able to get what you want. I'll be sounding like lions, bro. She told you to chill, boy. You better stop. Can't just be jumping on everybody's back, bro. Chill, bro, before you get hurt. I saw the dog, y'all. What Ben is this? Ben! Come here! Come here, girl! Chris! Oh, yeah, we all been playing having a good time. We all there! Come on, Chris! Go! So if I want to pick a dog, I'll be picking dog for a specific reason. What am I looking for? Am I looking for a dog that's going to be super friendly, super good with the family, um, very inclusive, you know what I'm saying, very inclusive, then, you know, I would pick certain dogs for certain characteristics, certain temperaments. Beans, come here girl, beans on the other hand, um, fearful, um, shy, she gotta do her own thing, so this girl gonna need a lot of work. This is Ben, y'all. Ben's one of them dogs where she starts fights, she does everything because she's trying to show everybody that she's strong because internally she isn't, right? You know, the little man syndrome and all that. No, Prince. So she wanna show everybody that she can hold her own. But we're not in that type of, we're not in that type of space where you need to do that. This is what we have going on with her. She's just scared. Sweet dog, super sweet, super sweet. So with her, it's like you got kids, whatever. You got some kids that's super outgoing and all that, super flamboyant. And then you got one kid that's super shy, super reserved. They just need more love, so. We just gotta spend more time giving her love, a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention, man, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Um, I, I would suggest whoever get Benz, if you do have her, spend time with her. Please don't just put her in a cage somewhere. Um, you gotta do more than feed and get these dogs water. It's more to it. There's way more to it. There's way more to it than that. Way more to it than that. It's way more to it than that, y'all. Way more to it than water and food. Understand your dogs, man. Understand different temperaments. Understand that some need more attention than others. And um, she's one of the girls that just need a little bit more attention. Just like uh, just like uh, Junior. You okay? All right. You see how tail is in wagon? She's unsure. She want to tuck it. But we just got to spend more time with her. We're going to get it together. Tom. Watch out. Watch out. Everybody back. 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 Back.
Back. Back. Back. Back. Back. Back. Back. Attention, man. Call me attention, man. We're gonna get it right. What up, Juicy? Back. Your mouth is always wet, bro. You know that? This is Lexus, y'all. Lexus is super friendly. Um, loves affection. y'all right now i'm gonna do some clickbait because you know y'all love clickbait y'all can say you don't like clickbait if you want to but i've shown analytics told me that if i get on the ground i put on the title that i was attacked by my pack my pack attacked me you guys are gonna click the video you guys might watch the whole video so i'm doing this at the end Clickbait out the way. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I love y'all so much, man.